fighters, these fighters are like bombs. A lot of atmosphere, Stevie, you've been in the middle of that pit. You were there when Michael fought there. Michael's been in the middle of it, he's been in the middle of that ring. It's one of those fights, boys, where you wait for it. And no matter how late it is, no matter how long you've waited, Every time I've been in there, I've felt it in that, that arena. I mean, I mean, the first time I went there, we both jumped in a complete mismatch. It was still carnage in there that night. <laughs> and like, then, of course, you know, there was your fight in there where I see you didn't realise it. And I was sitting there thinking, well, we are anarchy in the UK coming kind of glaring out. And I went, mean, well, I remember I saw you the next day in Times Square. I don't even remember. I was chatting in Times Square the next day, next morning. And, uh, I was saying, I don't even know if you realize, I think we were wild in there. They had the Irish against him from John Duddy as well. As well. They had so in the <laughs> way, I was there for Hopkins against Trinidad, yeah. and those were vicious fans that night, and Hopkins loved the milk. And just about 10 days after the two planes landed in the Twin twin Towers, and Don King allowed in hundreds of firemen and servicemen, and there were tears running down the aisles. Let's have a little pop over there. The lights are down. The lights are down. There's all sorts of stuff happening. Let's just see in case something grand happens. We've got fantastic jumbo drum screens which we need for the basketball. The crowd are getting ready. People have their phones. Miguel Cotto getting close, getting ready, looking very fancy. Now we thought that Cotto was walking in second. That's what we thought. And and we're being introduced first and Martinez walking in first but being introduced last it looks like it could be a ship hard to tell from that hard to tell from that if Conto yeah, is out is amongst the crowds he's definitely walking in first unless of course they stuck Martinez in at the ring it's a bit of an intrigue you give someone a little peck on the cheek there He's getting very close. You can sense it, you can smell it, Michael. Yeah, he's been working for a while. Nice there, all the time. Fact is, he's tactical winner. Well, I'm, I'm just edging towards Martinez. I'm probably making a mistake. I'm just edging towards him. I came in here tonight. If you'd have asked me at 7 o'clock, I think I would have gone Martinez. I think I would have gone Martinez. There he is. Cotto, heavily tattooed, more so than when he was younger. This should be Sergio Martinez coming to the ring. Won his first world title in 2008. Beat Pavlik for the middleweight title in 2010. And Pavlik looks so big against him. A calm man, he's been injured, he's had injuries, serious injuries. Still using crutches late last year. Not sure if he'd actually ever fight again, to be perfectly honest with you. He decided he would. He's pulled punches out. You saw one there knocking out Paul Williams when he's had to. I just think he's looked a bit heavy on his feet in his last couple of fights. Lacked back to the fluidity. Fouled to make it incredibly difficult for his opponents. It is generally hard to hear. Maybe, maybe a little bit overconfident against Martin Marley and Stadcraft. Maybe he felt he didn't have to move that much. There he is, the focused man. You've been with us since 7 o'clock. Thank you so much. You make it a very special place to work, a very special place to be. Even at this time, even at 4.35 in the morning. You know what? Let's go over, let's get a bit of music, let's get a bit of light, let's get the tea and let's enjoy enjoy this fight. It's Cotto, it's Martinez, it's Box Nation, it's live from the iconic and spiritual home of boxing, Madison Square Garden. His trainer says so not official weight but uh 161 for Cotto, 166 for Sergio and you'd expect him to rehydrate good information Christina Pancha glad uh, that you were able to get that but Martinez has gone and come a long way on deadly hooks good looks 
and perseverance beyond the normal, even of other prize fighters who come from nowhere to such great glory. Didn't start fighting until he was 20 as an amateur, turned pro at 26. Basically felt rejected in his home country of Argentina and moved to Spain, then to California. From the center of the world for sports and entertainment and the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York. This is the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. And it's all brought to you by Mr. Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated. Miguel Cotto Promotions, Debella Entertainment, and Samson Boxing. Sponsored by Tecate Con Caraca and PlayStation, PlayStation 4, our greatness awaits. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairperson Melvin Alakin, Supervisor David Berlin, and the World Boxing Council, WBC President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Chuck Williams. The three judges scoring from ringside, from Italy, Guido Cavallari, from California, USA, Max DeLuca, and from New York, USA, Tom Schreck. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee Michael Griffin. And now, the officials are ready, the fighters are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas y Caballeros, Argentinos y Borricos, estamos listos! For the thousands in attendance here at Madison Square Garden and the millions watching around the world on HBO Pay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get it! Freddie Roach wearing purple, black, and white. Official weight, 155 pounds. His outstanding professional record stands at 38 victories, including 31 knockouts with four defeats. He's the former light welterweight world champion, former two-time welterweight world champion, and former light middleweight champion of the world, the Tacos. Puerto Rico, Miguel Ángel, oh, oh. And waiting out of the blue corner with his head trainer, Aldo Sarmiento, wearing black with red, his professional record, an outstanding one. 51 victories, including 28 KOs, with only two defeats and two draws. From Tirmes, Buenos Aires, Argentina, the reigning, defending, WBC middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Maradona. During his 14-month layoff, Martinez had a personal visit with Pope Francis, the new Pope from Argentina. All right, so it's set to go here. The hairs are standing up on the back of my neck and anticipating the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. And I'm sure for the fighters, their hearts are pounding. Here we go. Martinez decked out in the primary white trunks and you see Cotto with all the tattoos of the purple and black trunks, a little bit of white trim on his trunks as well. Martinez is 
side point, jabbing with the right hand. See how he starts here. He's got the long shorts on, so you can't see it too well, but he does have uh, knee braces on. On both knees. Polo draws first. Goes the well and lands some leather. Business, both guys, no missing around here whatsoever. Toro tries to test his right hand upstairs, blocked by Martinez. Again, Martinez has a considerable advantage of reach. And Martinez was hurt by a left hook. He appears to be wobbling. He is wobbling, Larry. Toro trying to get in and see if he can finish this thing off early here. He's definitely wobbled by that hook. Another one to the party. Uh, he'll do all he can do, but has he got that kind of uh, stamina? 